And in Florida, Bradley opting to stay home, citing his six-year-old son's risk to recover from respiratory illnesses as a primary reason. J.R. Smith is reportedly the Lakers' main target to replace Bradley, that according to our Adrian Wojnarowski. Stephen A., would it be smart for the Lakers to bring in J.R. as the replacement? I got news for you. I think it would be Molly and Max. Um, I like this. Um, I Listen, J.R. Smith is a career 37% shooter from three-point range, not to mention the fact that he shoots 37% from three-point range in the postseason. He's streaky. Obviously, he can defend. He's a big guard. Um, and to believe it or not, I mean, from a character standpoint, I don't think he gets <laughs> enough credit. He's actually a really, really good guy. And I think that it says a lot that, even after making that, you know, he went brain, had brain lock and forgot the score was tied and stuff like that. And that's an indelible memory that we won't forget. I love the fact that if the Lakers bring him on board, you know that's something that LeBron James had to support. I love the fact that LeBron James is still friends with him. He supports him. Uh, he's got love for him in the whole bit. Um, I like this. And I think that J.R. Smith, believe it or not, could do almost everything that Avery Bradley could do in some instances even better. I like the idea of J.R. Smith being on the Los Angeles Lakers. I hope he gets the job. And again, I can't emphasize it enough. They got a real good chemistry going on character-wise on that team. J.R. Smith is not going to compromise it. He's actually a really, really good guy. And a lot of guys in the locker room would have a lot of love and respect for him. And I think they'd welcome him on board. And I think that's a huge, huge plus. So I, def I definitely support it. I agree. I do, too. And I think LeBron's comfort with Jr. you know, when you've been through experiences with someone, even if they've messed up some of those experiences, there's a there's a trust, the devil, you know. And I think with Jr. Smith generally, because he was such an obvious talent as a young player and he never really reached, you know, all star status um, because he could do everything at least as well as you want a guy to do, if not better, except maybe handle. Um, but it even turned himself into an excellent perimeter defender. He could shoot. He could finish. Um, he had hops. He, you know, uh, he could do a lot of things that you like. But for too much of his career, people were focusing on what he wasn't because he had so much, pro you know, promise. Well, let's just look at what he was and what he maybe could still be in the right situation. I think it's unlikely the Lakers would do better than that. I think given LeBron's comfort level with Jr. Um, it makes a lot of sense. And, uh, you know, aside from everything else, it'd be a lot of fun. Like, who wouldn't want to see J.R. Smith on well, the Lakers right now? I think a lot of people, Max, just like they underestimated Melo and what he could still contribute to a team, I think in a, to a lesser degree, I think you could say the same about J.R. Smith. And I think that, again, what are we talking about here? Avery Bradley is like an 11-point-per-game scorer for his career. He's averaging eight points a game mm -hmm. uh, for the Los Angeles Lakers this season before he disappears. It's not like we're asking, Jay, no disrespect to Avery Bradley. I'm very fond of him. I like him. He's a great defender as well. Those are to be respected, not trying to disrespect him in any way. But I don't see things that he does on the court that J.R. Smith is simply incapable of doing. I see J.R. Smith okay. being capable of doing that plus some. And I think that combined with the fact of his familiarity with a LeBron James, I think speaks volumes. And I want him to get a second chance because he's actually one of the good guys, regardless. People are shocked by that. But he's actually one of the good guys in the NBA who deserves a chance. I know people yep. would say shocked hearing that from me because I've annoyed him at times in the past. I love the guy personally, and I hope that he gets this opportunity. I would love to see if he can still play in the league at a high enough level. I need to say this about Carmelo Anthony because you brought it up. I was one of the people. Maybe I was leading the charge. I no longer thought he was a useful rotation piece, certainly not a starter. Carmelo has proven me wrong. He is at least a useful rotation piece, if not a starting caliber player at his advanced age in the NBA. And maybe J.R. Smith could be, too, a useful rotation piece on a championship caliber team. That's a whole lot.